everyone, good morning. You will have just seen me make my mocha. Um, today I'm off work. I've been able to hang the washing out. And when I say I've been able to, it's because I'm dealing with chronic fatigue at the moment. So I am super tired and it doesn't matter even if I get like nine, ten hours sleep, I'm still tired. And even if I get less sleep, I'm still tired. But I know why um, I definitely overdid it the last few days and my body is getting its own back. <laughs> so if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, then I um, have multiple sclerosis. Normally it doesn't affect me and I live a relatively normal life. I have made adaptions to be able to live a normal life, like reducing my hours at work and um, trying to reduce the stress in my life. But on occasions, I do suffer with it. And at the moment is one of those times. So I thought I would bring you along today on how I manage chronic fatigue and when I need to just stop, what are some of the things that I do. So I've made my marker and I'm going to take it upstairs in a moment to basically just sit and read for the majority of the morning. I'm on a day off, off work today, I'm not off sick, I'm just on a day off, um, ah, here comes George. Hello, I'm back, George was coming downstairs to make his breakfast, so I got my things together and I came upstairs, I'm currently in the reading room just here with all my books and journals and my of course mocha so yeah um <clears throat> when my chronic fatigue is bad well to be honest it's not been like this bad <clears throat> I'm not sick by the way, I'm just congested. It's not been this bad for a really long time. Like, I don't remember the last time it was like this, um, where I just needed to stop and I physically can't do some of the activities that I normally do, like cleaning the house, like that has just had to be put on the back burner for a moment and I know to some people it's not important but to me it is I love having a clean home and my house is not dirty but I have a routine and and you know it's hard like I know the bathroom needs cleaning and yes I know George could do it but uh, it's really hard to explain <laughs> I like to do it basically um but I've got a lot better in saying like telling myself just to stop and just it'll be there tomorrow if I'm feeling better or whatever the thing for me with chronic fatigue is that one day I can feel terrible and when I say feel terrible like chronic fatigue is not like being tired chronic fatigue like it's like you're ill, <laughs> that's the only way I could describe it, it's like you are sick, like you're super run down, you feel like you're getting a cold almost, for me anyway, but you're sick, you're not just tired, like your whole body feels heavy, really heavy and everything that you do is an effort, like everything, like I hung the washing out this morning, and it was such an effort to do that, but I did it. Um, it just, it's a real big effort to do things. That's what chronic fatigue is like. And the brain fog, and you just feel tired constantly. But sometimes I can feel terrible for like a day 
and the next day I feel completely back to normal. It's just basically, for me personally, um, <clears throat> how long a recovery my body needs and I allow it that I allow that recovery until I feel like I could do household chores. Um, like I said, I'm not off sick from work, I'm still going to work, um, which is fine, but when I'm on my days off, I've cancelled all plans at the moment, which is fine. But I am feeling a lot better than when I than I was at the beginning of the week, which is really good. So I'm definitely on the road to recovery. It's just going to take a few more days, I think, and then I'll be better. But I just thought I'd bring you along my day because my days, you've never seen this side of it. So um, really, because I've always been OK, but sometimes I'm poorly and that's fine. Um, so yeah, um, the drink that you saw me having a few moments ago is my lemon ginger and honey tonic shot that George and I have. We start it in September and we have it all the way through to February. So it's just kind of like an immune boost type drink. Um, but we like it, so we have that. But for now, I'm going to redo my reading, read my journals, all of these, drink my mocha which you have seen me do a few times, but I might set the camera up and um, it'd be like a little quiet vlog and then we'll go make some breakfast. When I, another thing I do when um, chronic fatigue is bad is I try to eat high protein, high fiber, like really good food. I didn't last night though. I had, I had chips from chip shop because when I got home from work, I just, I just couldn't so that was that but you're allowed so whatever um but today is going to be a good day with good whole nutritious good food for my body so yeah thought um i'd bring you along but yeah i'm gonna do some reading now and stop talking because talking is taking my energy up let's do some reading go out You're in my mind I close my eyes So it's just you and I And I tell myself You'll be back again Stars are aligned, we will dance in the meadow on our favorite place when spring is coming. Stairs. I'm still in my pyjamas, but I have made some breakfast, which is my porridge. It looks amazing. We've got nuts, uh, like some mixed seeds, apple, half an apple, banana, peanut butter, and some honey. And I think that will give me some energy for sure today. Um, I also ordered some autumnal like decorations for the front room so here at the moment excuse my feet um these will go into storage as will those 
uh, false flowers down there and I've got some pumpkins coming, so little pumpkins and then some little autumnal flowers. I've got a wreath coming, no it's not a wreath at all, I mean I have got a wreath coming, um, garland, I'm going to put garland around here, that's all, I've like always wanted that, it's just incredible. And then I'm going to put some pumpkins over there. I've got an autumn wreath I'm going to put up there. Please excuse the washing. <laughs> um, yeah, this wreath will be super autumnal, so I'm really, really excited. Arthi is having a relaxing day as well today, aren't you, Arthi? <laughs> so yeah, for the, moment, for the meantime, I'm going to enjoy my breakfast watch some YouTube um, and yeah and then I'm going to water the house plants because I do think that resting is important with chronic fatigue for me but also if I just sit and do nothing all day I actually feel worse so just doing little things like watering the plants is fine and sorting the washing out is fine that's as much as my activity is going to go today. Maybe I'll go for a little walk with George later after he's finished work. I don't know, we'll play by ear. Maybe I'll have a nap, I don't know. Stay tuned, but for now, I'm going to eat my breakfast because I'm sure that'll give me some more energy. Start to be. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. I break to my heart. It's weighing me down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. Too late, but I can see past the rain. Hello everyone. So I'm running myself a bath. I watered all the house plants. Um I've given the reading room a little bit of a tidy. These wipes, like if anyone like suffers with chronic fatigue or not just that or anything, like these wipes, not necessarily from Wilco's, but just antibacterial wipes in general literally are amazing because you can just do a little bit of cleaning just wipe the surfaces and make the surface look nice they're antibacterial you don't have to do a massive effort of massively cleaning everywhere when you just use those wipes and it just make it just does the it just does that it just does that for me anyway like i'm f you know, I don't feel like I have to clean vigorously. Just use those wipes when I can't do any cleaning. Right. I'm creating myself a little spa in the bathroom. A little sanctuary. Um, and I'm getting, because I went to a spa a little while ago with a friend. And they had these really gorgeous drinks. So I'm going to try and recreate it. Not saying it's going to be the same because it's not. But... It's just nice just to like when you're feeling rubbish you know it's just nice to do nice things for yourself it doesn't have to cost any money but just do nice things for yourself um, yeah it's nice <laughs> anyway I'm going to make this so I'm making so I've got this strawberry and lime cordial from our local soup, um, garden center i'm going to put it into one of these i've got and i've got a glass upstairs on the bath so i'm going to have that and it'll be like a little treat so yeah and then have a nice bath and then afterwards i'm going to do some bullet journaling you'd have seen i've got all my bullet journal stuff out how amazing is my drawer um and then i'll probably catch up with you at lunchtime Turn the page and burn it Let's make up a big bonfire On the beach with the stars
stars as our lighters and throw our problems in the flame. Throw our problems in the flame. We fell down to the bottom. So bottom up, please. We're gonna get over One step away from salvation. You're like the ocean, setting me free. Out in the open, I'm picking up speed. No bad thoughts penetrate. Hold me like this is the first time. Our destiny calls. Not leaving this incomplete. Won't you let? Turn the page and burn it. Let's make up the big Hello everyone, I'm back. I've had a lovely bath and washed my hair. I was in the bath for an hour, which is crazy even for me. The other good thing that I did the other day when my fatigue was worse than it is today was I was still able to meal prep. So, oh my God, hold on, look at Arthi. Oh, so cute. Oh no, Zuki, you stay there. Oh no, I didn't want to disturb you. Oh, he's so gorgeous. Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> um, yeah, I was able to meal prep majority of my food for a week so all I have to do is reheat things which if I can give any of you out there who you know have chronic fatigue gorgeous, or anything like that is sometimes meal prepping is your friend and it saves you so much like especially with fatigue my brain fog is so bad like I never it's like oh what do I even want to eat um it's just so bad so the fact that i have food i know what i'm having i'm having it it just eliminates that level function that you need to have in your brain <laughs> which i don't at the moment um but i'm definitely feeling a lot better i'm feeling so much better for resting i might pop to sainsbury's a little in a bit might might i might not i might i don't know how i don't know um, but yeah, just to get like some nice little movie snacks. Might watch a movie this afternoon and continue journaling because that's what I'm doing and I'm really enjoying that. Um, but yeah, and also to get some fresh air. But yeah, I might just get a couple of little snacks. Mm. But yeah, let's prepare some lunch because I think I need to eat something now, drink more water, eat something and see, ooh, see where the afternoon takes us. Sainsbury's to get a little snack to watch when we have our movie. It's just gone two o'clock now. 
um, this is when I will probably start to get tired. So when I come back from Sainsbury's, I'm going to prep dinner and box up lunch for work tomorrow and iron my work uniform because for about three or four o'clock onwards, my energy will like, so if I go to Sainsbury's now and get that done, come back and get those little jobs done, then I won't have to worry about it later. So that's good. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to get some herbal teas. So we're going to have a look at the herbal teas together and a little snack for a movie, which I know I said I was being good with my food today, but if you don't treat, if you don't have one little treat in life, well, what's the point really? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go. It's sorted. Arthur is back inside. I've prepped. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> I've prepped dinner for later, so that'll be one less thing that I have to do later, which is incredible. And the kettle has just boiled, so I'm going to make a pot of tea now. I'm gonna have peppermint tea, my, almost in my bags. We're gonna have peppermint tea, and I think I'm gonna have it in this teapot. How cute is this teapot? That's the cutest teapot ever, isn't it? It's so cute. <sighs> Gosh. And then I'm gonna go upstairs, take a few little snacks, and watch a movie this afternoon. I think I might watch something like Coraline because it's getting to October. So excited. I'm so excited. It's such a gorgeous day today. Um, and I am definitely feeling better. Like, not better, better, but I'm, I'm on the road to recovery of feeling more human, which is fantastic. So we're going to celebrate with peppermint tea. I know it's not fresh peppermint, but you know, for now that's fine. And some little treats and a film and I'm just going to enjoy the rest of my afternoon. Relax and rest. Oh, belly but I hope this video has been somewhat useful for, for you, like an insight of what it is genuinely, well not genuinely, I don't mean that, what it is like for me living with MS, chronic fatigue, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, I probably won't do any talking now because after my movie I will probably be way too tired to hold a camera so I'm probably going to switch off now and you'll see me just watching my film finishing my journaling and getting better and recovering so if you have liked this video or it's been helpful or useful or you can relate to it please give it a thumbs up leave me any comments in the comment section bar below because i'd love to hear from you and if you are new and this is the first video that you're seeing then hi um my videos now aren't normally like this but i am um, instead of skipping a week of filming i thought i would just share what it is like to live with a chronic illness. So my norm, my normal, my usual videos are homemaking, simple living, simple joys, things like that. So this is slightly different, but I hope it's been helpful, useful, and anyone has been able to relate. So yeah, I will catch up with you all in next week's video where I shall hopefully be feeling much more my normal self. Bye. Okay.